Hi everybody. Suppose that we have a equilateral triangle ABC. Now in this equilateral triangle, consider a point O inside of that triangle. Now join each and every vertex to this point O. Now let the angle BOC be X and angle AOC be Y. Now join these interior lines to make a new triangle A dash B dash C dash. So our final question is that we have to find each and every angle of new triangle A dash B dash C dash. You might already have seen these types of questions on many website but this question was basically originated by a paper published by Massachusetts Institute of Technology or MIT. So this paper named as Jewish problems and you can download this paper from going through the link in the description. So first you please give your trial to this question and then keep watching for the solution. Now here is our original triangle that we have given. Now make a duplicate copy of that and rotate it 60 degrees clockwise and stick it to the bottom of the original triangle and the base of the duplicate triangle is easily coincide on the base of our original triangle because we know that these both are equilateral triangles and both have equal sides. Now this is our final figure after renaming them. Now join the interior points of both triangles. Now this triangle is congruent to this triangle by side 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 congruency rule. So this angle is equals to this angle because of corresponding parts of congruent triangles. And similarly this triangle is congruent to this triangle by side 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 congruency rule. And similarly, this angle is equal to this angle because of corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now, this angle plus this angle is equal to 60 degrees because we know that every angle of an equilateral triangle is of 60 degrees. So, this complete angle is also of 60 degrees. Now considering this isosceles triangle, now looking in this isosceles triangle, we know that angles opposite to the equal sides of triangle are equal. So if we let our remaining angle be A, then another angle is also equal to A by this theorem. So 60 degrees plus A plus A is equal to 180 degrees. So A is also equal to 60 degrees. And making A as 60 degrees, this means this isosceles triangle is an equilateral triangle. So our another side is also equal to same as our two sides. Now considering our this final figure. Now taken out this out. And this is our triangle that we have needed. Now considering this whole angle this whole angle is equals to x that we have given now minus this 60 degrees with that we get x minus 60 degrees which is equals to one of the angle of the triangle that we have to found now considering this whole angle this is equals to 360 degrees now minus this whole angle so we get 360 degrees minus 60 degrees plus x plus y so we have 300 minus x minus y degrees. So our one more angle is 300 minus x minus y degrees. Now this is our final figure. Now our remaining angle is 180 degrees minus x minus 60 degrees plus 300 degrees minus 3 minus y. So this will be 180 degrees minus 240 degrees minus y 
so this is 180 degrees minus 240 degrees plus y so our another remaining angle is y minus 60 degrees and that is our correct answer now this question only consists of elementary geometry but making construction of a new triangle and rotating them 60 degrees clockwise and stick to the bottom of a new triangle makes this question more harder and i hope you will enjoy my solution